There are two main views with ankle x-rays, the mortis view and the lateral view. So just to go through the anatomy, on the mortis view, you can see the tibia on the left and the fibula on the right. These bones articulate with the talus and the ends of the tibia and fibula that wrap around the talus are the medial and lateral malleoli. Initially, when looking at a mortis view, you should check that the joint space is even between the talus and the tibia. The distal tibia fibula syndesmosis is a complex fibrous joint between the tibia and the fibula that is made up of several different ligaments. The level of involvement of the syndesmosis is used in the classification of ankle fractures. So it's not something that you can see on an x-ray, but it's just important to be aware of where it's, uh, where it's located. Here we can see the three types of ankle fracture. The Weber classification is used to describe the different types of ankle fracture and there are three main types, A, B and C. So Weber A fractures are distal fibular fractures that occur below the level of the syndesmosis. Weber B fractures occur at the level of the syndesmosis and Weber C fractures occur above the level of the syndesmosis. It's often accompanied by a fracture of the medial malleolus. Thank you.